Here's a game that shows that you don't need an expensive retail packaged copy, multi-billion dollar marketing budget, or 10-year franchise history to have a good multiplayer shooter. It's Blacklight Tango Down, a downloadable shooter for Xbox Live Arcade, PlayStation 3, and PC. And while the game doesn't do much to separate itself from its competent competitors, you easily get what you pay for if you're into multiplayer first-person shooter combat. Shooters are a dime a dozen these days, and I find that people tend to overanalyze them when trying to describe them. You can see what the game looks like on screen right here. This is the game, I'm playing it. I'm getting my ass kicked, but that's normal for me. Actually, I didn't do that bad once I learned once I learned the maps. The gameplay is extremely easy to pick up because it's nothing you haven't seen a thousand times before. Blacklight Tango Down is like a mixture of Halo meets Modern Warfare, but not nearly as ultra-violent as the Modern Warfare games. It's got more of a comic book style. Fans of MAG on the PlayStation 3 will probably dig this game because it's a straightforward shooter. The maps are decent, I wish it was a bit more colorful, but overall the game looks nice, it plays well, and that's what's important. Gameplay. The gameplay is is traditional first-person shooter. There's a single-player campaign, but it doesn't really amount to that much. If you want a good single-player storyline, you go for games like Bioshock, Singularity, or Red Faction. I'd really only recommend Blacklight Tango Down for those of you that enjoy multiplayer. There were lots of people online playing when I dove into some Team Deathmatch games, and the competition was fast and friendly. And that's a great compliment for any multiplayer shooter. There, that's the review. There's no need to overanalyze this one. It's Blacklight Tango Down. But let's watch some more gameplay, because it's the kind of game where you play and level up your character to the point where they unlock new guns, new armor, and all the guys kind of look like Halo guys. Here's your typical variety of machine guns, shotguns, sniper rifles, and when you get different ones, the scopes are different. You get grenades and like little digit bombs which blow up and then make your screen go crazy like uh, something out of Ghost in the Shell. I dug the game because of its simplicity. Typically I prefer more of a science fiction campaign single player storyline, but for multiplayer I like a very straightforward game like this one. And it has health packs so you can't just hide in a corner and regenerate all your health. Com combined with some moderate regeneration, you, you regenerate up to a certain level, and then to fill your health gauge, you've got to find a health pack or a health pack bin. During the campaign mode, you can easily just kind of turn around, backtrack, and get health. When you're playing against the computer in the single-player mode, the enemy AI is nothing special, but like I said, this game is really meant for multiplayer, and for that, it does a great job. It's affordable, it's playable, and at least on the Xbox 360 version, which is what we're watching here, it works well. Gameplay was smooth, and I had no issues. I like that you're rewarded for leveling up, it has achievement points. Blacklight, Tango Down. This is the beginning of a franchise, so I expect that we'll see more of these, and hopefully more maps. With more color, please and uh, more soft drink advertisements. I, I really need to know what other brands of soft drinks are out there. Let's get creative. I want every surface in this game covered with drink ads from Mr. Pib, Cherokee Red, Slice, Jolt, Mellow Yellow, come on. More, Black Light, Orange, Fago Down.